All right, guys, just leaving work now. Going to uh, train. Going to train on my lunch break. So I want to make a little video talking about um, why this year I will be able to be bringing my best. So, you know, um, you know, back in 2022, after loss, after loss, after loss, and, um, you know, placing ninth at Junior USA's, I was like, and me and Compton really pushed it that year. So I was like, God damn, this pro card shit is way harder than I thought, you know? So I was like, fuck it. Let's just do it for fun. So 2023, you know, I did like four shows. But I honestly wasn't like as 100%, you know, as I was in the past. When I first, first couple of years, I started the first couple of times I was doing my shows. I was just kind of like, you know, because I got a new job also at that time. You know, I was trying to really excel. It was first like real, real career I've had. So, you know, I wanted to make sure I gave that gave that energy there, you know, because bodybuilding is just taking money. It's not giving me anything back. So, you know, I finally got a good career. I was like, I'm not going to be one of these idiots that just fucking throws that away. So I had to make sure I was like 100% there. I was still able to prep. I still did everything, but I don't know. I just felt like I wasn't like 100%, but I still ended up getting my pro card. Um, I got pro card. I went from ninth place to first place at Junior USA's. And, you know, the guy who beat me in the overall, um, not only did I beat him this year when I met him at the Orlando Pro, but I beat him in the past as well. You know, it was his hometown. He had a lot of people there at the show. So, whatever. Judges judged it. I'm just saying, though. So, uh, so you know, we got our pro card. And then still, this year, I was like, you know, still not in a position. You know, me and my girl still don't weren't living together so you know I'd, and she lived like an hour away so you know in the off season you know you let's grab Chick-fil-A instead of this chicken and rice let's let's do this because it's on the way you know and it's just a little bit easier and you're working you know your full time job so you know there was just little things you know but I know I'm not I wasn't moving 100% but we were still making some great progress still moving forward um, but and so we did Alabama, we did Orlando, you know, like I said, like, I didn't feel like I was giving my 100% still, though, because of all the attention I need to give to work, you know, so this year, though, after the pro shows, uh, my pro shows this year, not only did I get a promotion at work, which means I might I feel like I'm less micromanaged, so I got a little bit more freedom. And my girl moved in with me. So that means, you know, I can operate a lot better. I already feel like I'm operating a lot better. And it's awesome because, you know, back when I was, you know, getting into the sport, like I was like, man, once I'm a pro, like, I'll be able to make more videos and people will care and all this. And yeah, I know nobody really cares until you're like an Olympian, especially a classic. Still, people don't even care. Like, it's not like open bodybuilding, you know? You could be a top top five athlete at a regular show in open bodybuilding and you can be very successful, very well known and all that good stuff. But for a classic, you kinda gotta be an Olympian. Even then, like you, even then you gotta, be a repetitive Olympian, you know, do it year after year in order to really get known. So, you know, so, damn, I gotta, like, open my eyes, you know, I'm, this year I'm 30, and I'm, like, I'm there, you know, I'm where I've always wanted to be, just competing as I have BB Pro, but I'm not giving my 100%, I was giving my 100% at the beginning, I'm not giving my 100% now, you know, it makes so much more sense to me, like, this sport is all about how long you can fucking go 100%, you know? Like, yeah, it's very easy your first couple of years to go 100%. Then you start getting more responsibilities. You start getting more, you know, more tagged along in life. And you can't, you can't give it 100% like you used to, you know? 
And I always say, if you're giving it 100% and you're not an IFBB pro, or, yeah, you're giving it 100% and you're still not an IFBB pro, like, you don't have much room to go from there, <laughs> you know? So that's the, that's the one good thing about um, being an IFBB about not giving 100% because it means there's room. I gotta take a phone call for work. One second.